So right now you're looking at the Bitcoin chart and you're trying to figure out how low will it go. Or maybe, maybe right now you're looking at the Ethereum chart and you're like, oh my God, what is this $689? And you're trying to figure out, oh, what's going on with this chart? Hey, just fuck with you guys a little bit. Hey, this is a chart from uh, March 13, 2018. And we're going to glance at that chart to actually let you know about our 13 market moves price prediction on Ethereum and Bitcoin, looking at some of the historic analogs right here, trying to help you decipher the information so you can make the best trading decisions going forward between today, June 21st, and June 28th. And I'm about to reveal to you why June 27th and 28th are so critically important for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And guys, we got an exciting announcement at the very end of this video. So if you want to make the most out of this video make sure you stay till the very end so without any further ado if you missed some of the if you missed some of the critical videos we have been posting on the bitcoin crash okay make sure you go and review these historic analog that we posted in this video right here this title big drop in five days bitcoin in stock market so bitcoin is dropping the stock market not quite but it's about to and we're going to spend a whole nother video separately in the stock market and that right now we're just going to focus on this historic analog again all the details uh, of the historic analog are broken down in this video on 13 market moves channel um, so in this video we're going to focus on the portion of this historic analog on the stuff that actually matters now but if you're trying to figure out well how do we nail the crash before it happened based on this historic analog 13 market moves and charts and patterns you can certainly watch, uh, we posted multiple videos predicting this Bitcoin crash. So this prediction is based on this historic analog, the 13 market moves patterns um, and the sequences that point to another move lower. But I'm going to spend most of the time in the video to point out something that most of the traders overlook. And what most of the traders overlook when they look at charts they neglect at times what is an insanely important behavior on the charts. And so the historic analog, if we were to break this down, remember uh, when this candle was created right here, uh, it was June 8th when we're hitting uh, 30,900 on Bitcoin. Um, and now we are right here. We are this very red candle today on the 21st of June. Now, if you've paid close attention and stayed with the videos, remember the last time I said in the, in the prior video we were going to bounce. It was going to be the last bounce on Bitcoin before the drop. And so the question is, how do you break down these candles going forward from here? And how do we actually arrive at a price target for Bitcoin by June 28th, 23K to 26K? So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So... Let's go back to the Bitcoin chart. Now, this is a daily chart on stock charts, and clearly a lot of people are talking about the death cross price. Guys, you cannot be basing your trading decisions solely on one indication such as the death cross, which is clearly bearish, and it's based on moving averages of 50 and 200 moving lines. But uh, this is not the reason why you would want to short. Uh, as a matter of fact, there was plenty of other reasons why you could have caught the short right here, right here, uh, shorted it on the balances and so on and made a ton of money. And for those of you that may be wondering, well, why are you so excited about shorting? Guys, uh, most of the money is made on the short side, not the bull side, especially if you are a short term trader. Uh, the short side of trading is always going to make you a lot more money within the shorter time frame. So understanding how to capitalize on that is what most of the Bitcoin traders miss because generally they have a uh, bullish bias uh, on all, all of the cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to help you understand how not only you could increase your Bitcoin holdings and Ethereum holdings, uh, but why now? So the most important question is not, you know, well, is something going to drop? Is something going to go higher? Uh, as a trader, the most critical thing is why is that going to happen now? So I'm going to point out to a couple of things and a couple of uh, distinct ideas here, a couple of distinct patterns that are uh, distinct behaviors that will point why now is so critical. 
So if we focus on the behavior on this chart, guys, you will notice that after this sharp drop, Bitcoin hits this level of 30K, roughly, and it bounces out. Like if you remember that day where this red candle, it, did, it, it looked like it was never going to end. This red candle happened so sharply fast so lightning fast it just kept dropping but once it hit that level just under 30k what happens they buy the hell out of it this is why the candle looks like this so the body of the candle is right here at one point the body of the candle was reaching right here but as soon as it hit here it jumped it bounced like crazy and uh, the most important part about this is this bounce right here tells you hey this is a temporary bottom and then we bounce lightning fast. We have a repetition, but notice what happens on the repetition. The tail of the candle is just not as distinct as this one. It is a smaller drop, but it also indicates the behavior that there are a lot less buyers at this point that are coming in and that are interested in buying this dip at that moment in time. So the first time we drop, we literally crash 13,000, 14,000 points, and then we regain most of the losses instantly. Boom, on the spot. Within minutes, we bounce out. So that tells you when the drop happened, there were a lot of people interested in buying Bitcoin at that level. The second time around, there were less people, there were a lot less buyers there were a lot less people interested in buying bitcoin at this level now the third time it happens right here on june 8th okay if you compare the prior candles and the behavior you have a contraction in the candle you have the diminishing number of buyers so you go through ton of people willing to buy it on the deep to less people willing to buy it on the dip, to a lot less people willing to buy it on the dip. And you can make the judgment based on the size of the bounce. When there is a ton of people wanting to buy, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum or a gold or a particular stock or anything that has a chart, uh, all of these scandals and behaviors apply to anything that has a chart, guys, not just Bitcoin or Ethereum. When you see this sort of pattern, guys, it tells you that every time we get back to a certain level, which in this case is a level about 30, 31 K, there is a diminishing number of buyers that is sitting there willing to buy the hell out of that thing that's dropping. So this is the diminishing behavior, uh, the decrease in the number of buyers that are willing to commit large sums of capital at a particular level on the chart. And now we're at the very critical point because as you can see today on June 21st, this is this red candle. Let me remind you that this red candle was predicted by 13 market moves by utilizing this historic analog dating back to December and January of 2018. Now a portion of this historic analog, the next few days, they would actually belong to February of 2018. I'm going to give you an exact breakdown day by day. So right now we are on the 21st of June, 2021. And that would actually be an equivalent, as you can see, I have a number 31 at the bottom right here. So June 21st, 2021 would be an equivalent candle to January 31st, 2018. And understanding that this historic analog has been such a perfect match as far as Bitcoin concerned that you could have traded this like a rock star pretty much every 24 hours. I mean, I've got some traders that literally made close to 40, 50 BTC from here to here. And the question is, if you have not done so and you really want to increase your Bitcoin positions, so you can benefit from the longer term move to the upside. Why aren't you taking advantage of these huge drops in Bitcoin and Ethereum to actually improve your long term position? So oftentimes it's a battle between the bears and the bulls. Like who cares? Like what's your goal? Do you want to get your account from 2 BTC to 20 BTC? 
the question should be, well, how do I do that? Apparently, you've got some kind of historic analog here that could have helped me do that, and I was asleep. Well, fucking wake up, trader. I'm about to show you some stuff that can still increase your Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings substantially over the course of the next seven days. And like, it's not too late. This historic analog can still help you profit on the short side to the point where you can double, triple, quadruple your Ethereum and Bitcoin holdings so you can reap the greater reward going further. I've never understood the hodlers. Like, what the heck? This shit is dropping. You just want to sit and wait? Like, oh my God, if you sell your fucking, you know, five Bitcoins, like, Really, it's going to move the market? You're going to just, everybody just going to save the fucking market? Look, it's going to drop with or without you. So make a fucking decision, okay? Do you want to be aggressive? Do you just want to sit there and wait every day when shit is just going to keep dropping and dropping? You're just going to, you know, wake up every morning, check your account. I'm like, oh my God, the shit is down again. Oh, but it's going to bounce. They tell me it's going to bounce. Everybody says they're making this bullish Bitcoin videos. Shit is going to bounce. And you're like, man, you wake up the next morning. It's down again. And it's down again. And it's down again. Uh, and so the question is, why are you watching this? Why are you not taking advantage of it? It's probably because you don't have a clue of how to take advantage. Because you have been brainwashed by all this Bitcoin and Ethereum bulls that are telling you, oh my God, just hold on, never sell the shit, never, never, ever. Okay, but how, okay, how's that a strategy? Okay, how about you take advantage of the opportunities to increase your holdings? Just think about this. How ridiculous is this? The history of Bitcoin shows you that it crashed five, six times throughout the history by as much as 80%. And yet you're just going to sit there and huddle. Maybe it's time for a different strategy. There is a, a story in the Bible that talks about uh, a master uh, living uh, the servants uh, with a few opportunities, uh, with a few coins, if you will. And one of the servants digs the coin uh, deep under the ground and he saves it. Uh, the master is supposed to come back in seven days and check all of the three servants about how well they have done with the coins he have given them. So the first servant basically digs the coin under the ground. He wants to play safe. I mean, he's the hodler, right? I mean, he buries this shit dead. Make sure nobody knows the place. So when the master comes back uh, and asks him, well, how well did you do with the coins I've given you for the week? Uh, he's like, well, master, I'm happy to announce I preserved all the coin. Uh, I haven't lost any. I'm good. Look. And so the other guy takes the, the one coin that the master gives him and he multiplies it into three. And the third servant basically takes the one coin and he multiplies it into seven. And so at that point, the master makes the decision, well, who do I give more coins to? And he gives more coins to the guy that's got the seven coins already. The moral of the story, okay, don't be the fucking guy that's hodling, sitting on that coin, waiting for something great to happen based off every bullshit they talk about in the news. Be the guy that dares to do something with the coin you've got and multiply it. Life is too short, learn some extra skills, Maybe you're a long-term investor. So was Mark Cuban, damn it, until he lost his ass recently on what's called a stable coin, damn it. How can you lose money on a stable coin? Well, easy, when it goes from 60 to fucking zero in 60 seconds. That's a whole nother video, though. But let's go back and focus on the charts. And even if you're brand new to charts, I want you guys to approach this with a stance of how can I understand this? How can I get better with this? So I'm not the guy that's sitting and hodling one fucking coin for the rest of my life. How can I take that coin to three coins, seven coins? You've got the opportunity in front of you. And for those of you, you got a hundred coins. You pay very close attention to this information. You could be at 700 coins. So let's roll. Let me break this historic analog to where hopefully it's going to start making sense. So again, 
This right here, blue and red, that's Bitcoin price action dating back to December 17th, January 18th. And right here in this section, we're looking at February of 2018. And you see some wild numbers here like 23K, 26K, but if you actually look at the chart, uh, what do you see, guys? Well, it's the price action back then is uh, Bitcoin was right here between 20 and 19,000 and it dropped all the way to a level of six to seven thousand and if we're to translate this into current numbers and this numbers right here are being actually slightly conservative okay this would indicate the beginning of the bigger drop not the old time highs in Bitcoin but the beginning of the uh, bigger drop recently which we've actually predicted on this channel from 58k all the way down to 30k and we're in this part of the section of the historic analog where we're about to go through this so there is a time to stay short and there is a time to be a bull and congratulations to those of you that have taken advantage of this run up till here we've got this run you're about to have a chance to take advantage of the this run right here and then you're gonna have a huge opportunity to go long and literally let me show you on the calendar how close we are to that opportunity so if you look at the candles again today is the 21st which would be the equivalent of the 31st of January 2018 uh, we're only seven days away so this candle right here this blue candle with the tail sticking out represented by this red dot right here that is February 6th this is where Bitcoin bottoms in February of 2018 now that is a temporary bottom so let me actually pull up the calendar because there is some significance and irony in this so if we go back to February 2018 so what's today is the last day in 2018 which would be January 31st tomorrow okay would be the equivalent of February 1st uh, 2018 and if you count the days and the candles day by day we go from February 1st 2nd 3rd 4th 5th 6th basically it gives you the Bitcoin bottom at uh, Bitcoin bottoms at on February 6th going into February 7th now if we were to overlay that onto the current calendar uh, what a shocker so today is June 21st 2021 that would be the equivalent of January 31st 2018 uh, we count six days from that it puts us on 27th guys so this could be the ultimate short-term bottom in Bitcoin and Ethereum on the 27th of June which is only six seven days today the reason I have this V formation drawn right here because it could happen on the night of February 6th uh, February 6th going into February 7th which current equivalent would be June 27th June 28th and surprise surprise this coincides with Elon Musk a birthday so could there be such a thing that Bitcoin based of the historic analog actually bottoms both Bitcoin and Ethereum bottoms on Elon Musk birthday or the day before that's the big question and based off the 13 markets move formula we think that is exactly what's going to happen so if you guys haven't taken the 13 markets move formula that keeps track of the sequences okay we strongly position based off the current sequences in the Bitcoin chart to go exactly to hit the bottom in the current chart of Bitcoin and Ethereum the day before the night of okay or the day of Elon Musk birthday and from there we're gonna see a breakout higher it's a temporary breakout based on the historic charts but nonetheless you know exactly where the bottom could actually take place so what do you do in the meantime you've got six days you got the 22nd tomorrow the 23rd the 24th the 25th the 26th and the 27th you got all these days ahead of you to take advantage of a further drop so 
Let me take you back to this historic analog and show you exactly what could be taking place right here. So let me uh, make this a little bit more visible here for you guys. Basically, we have a situation where the current candle is this one right here. That's the current candle. As you can see, okay, the June 8th low was 30,900. Based on the historic analog, we can have a sideway pattern for that. You see this uh, tiny green candle in the middle of these two red candles right here. Well, this is the 22nd. That's tomorrow. So, and by the way, if you're like on Coinbase or Kraken, I mean, these guys, they charge you a shitload of commissions. And, you know, I mean, they're trading platforms. They really suck. So we have a link for you to go 25x, 50x, 100x. You can click it uh, below this video and get a real trading account, damn it. For those guys that are trying to take their accounts to the moon, I wouldn't recommend any other account besides the account that you can set up within three minutes in the link below this video. Now, sideway pattern basically is what we can have for the next 24 to 48 hours here. But notice what happens next. We get another huge red candle. Then we got a little bit of sideways action again, followed by two huge red candles, followed by a bottom right here. The bottom on this chart represented by this blue candle that has a tail sticking out all the way at the bottom right here, which represents the bottom. As you can see now that we're hitting this on this historic analog, a level about 6,200 on BTC. Uh, there's a lot of buyers there and it takes it higher it bounces finally so this was the bottom so literally what I'm telling you based off this chart we're about to go through a similar formation on the current Bitcoin chart and Ethereum chart is going to look pretty close to at this and I'm going to show you an Ethereum chart here in just a moment but this is the formation that we're looking for in the next seven days. So when you're a trader, it's important to identify the size of the move, but also the time frame of the move. When you're trading stocks, it's incredibly critical when you're trading options. But when trading Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum, you don't have to worry about expirations, guys. So that's the beautiful part. It makes your trading so much easier. But looking at this chart, guys, there's a huge opportunity because if you measure this move, historic move in Bitcoin from a level of 10, 11,000 down to 6,200. Guys, there's another easy 30, 35% drop. 30, 35% drop from current Bitcoin levels can easily put it at back at 20, 22K. We're not as bearish on it based on these historic analog. We think we can easily hit 23K, 26K on Bitcoin in the next seven days. And the crazy part about it, whoa, I'm about to show you where Ethereum is going to go. But uh, let me uh, pull up these charts right here, which should make things just a little bit more visible. Let me talk about this distinct behavior, which points to a definite breakdown of this pattern. Because if, if you're a bull uh, or if you're a trader, you may not necessarily have to be a bull or a bear to trade this. Okay, The one thing... Uh, that a lot of people would argue right now is, hey, we have a very defined level right here, right above 30K. I mean, this is the fourth time we are going there. But at this point, as I tried to explain to you earlier, the behavior is different, all right? The behavior is entirely different. Now that we're approaching this level for the fourth time, look at this. Where is the tail? Where is, so in other words, people are accepting this level in Bitcoin. They're basically saying, okay, I guess now uh, it should be worth 30K, 31K, 32K. All right. And it's the very acceptance of this level. So the first three times the market participants, they don't accept the fact, how can Bitcoin go from 60,000 to 30,000? Damn it. I'm buying the dip. The second time, oh, it goes back to 30,000. I'm buying the dip. The third time, it goes to 30,900. Uh, should I buy this dip? And the fourth time, well, I bought the dip here and here and here. I don't know if I'm going to buy this dip right here. So that's the mentality of this chart. This is what this chart communicates to you. And if we were to break the chart down just a little bit further, 
basically what you're looking at if we're to draw a line right here at about 35, 36K. Look, every time we've dropped, we've dropped from where? 45K, 42K, 38K, 37K, uh, you know, just basically under 40K, we begin this drop. Now, if you analyze this drop, all of these sharp bounces, uh, they started where things began dropping above that level. Now, now we're approaching this level in a totally different behavioral pattern. The big red candle does not initiate here, it does not initiate here, it does not initiate uh, here. It initiates at the lowest level of the chart, which tells you people have accepted the fact that we're selling and we're not buying this level. And there's going to be only a renewed interest only if we go substantially below this level. This Behavioral characteristic around here of Bitcoin on this daily chart tells you there are less and less and less and less interested buyers that are willing to commit substantial capital at these levels, which often, based on the historic analogs, will resolve into a move lower, not higher. Now, based on the historic analog, it gives us the highest probability that things could not, they could go sideways right we don't necessarily have to drop today based on historic analog remember we don't necessarily have to drop tomorrow look at this little green candle in the middle of these two red candles right here we don't necessarily have to drop tomorrow we can go sideways we can stall out for half of the day on wednesday before we go lower and even after we go lower uh, it looks like it's the bottom and we bounce out slightly, not hugely, but slightly at this point on the cut in the prior low of 30,900 set on June 8th. And we go sideways for another day. And it looks like things are fine, but overall, where are we going? We're going lower for another seven days. Seven days, guys, Bitcoin sets a low. In seven days, Ethereum sets a low. So if you want to buy that's your buying point. That's where you want to buy. You want to count seven days. I've shown you exactly. It's going to coincide, ironically, with Elon Musk's birthday or just the day before that. So when we're looking at these things right here, guys, it tells us that you don't have to rush in necessarily and put on this big short right now. Okay, as a matter of fact, if you're a short seller, ideally, you should have taken action on all the videos we have posted right here telling you that Bitcoin is about to crash. You should have watched our videos and shorted Bitcoin on the bounce every time it bounced. And there's been plenty of bounces in the recent history that would have allowed for some insanely profitable opportunities for you. And at this point, this is probably the most dangerous entry you can make, that this could still be a highly profitable entry, but you want to catch this on any sort of bounce. So see any kind of bounce, back to 33 34 now we may not bounce there but if we bounce to 32 5 i mean you can get in right there and ride it lower just understand don't expect things to just collapse uh because at this point they've collapsed many many times and the probability we're going to go sideways for a day two days in other words don't jump in this trade and stay in it for 15 minutes and if the trade bounces a couple hundred points i you, you know don't jump out I mean, this is not the way you trade this. Uh, but understanding your time frames, guys, when you trade is, is super, super important. Understanding your entries is what makes or breaks your Bitcoin or Ethereum trade. If you're trying to get better in these areas, I've got a huge surprise for you uh, that I'm going to reveal in just a couple of minutes here. But understand, at this point, we could go sideways before we're going to go drop even further. And you've got seven days. And not all of those seven days are going to be straight drops. Some of them are going to be slight bounces. Some of them are going to be slight sideways uh, action. But overall, we are going lower based on these historic analog that I keep bringing to your attention. Still got about potential for another 30% move here. So at this point, let's take a look historically of what Ethereum has done within that same time frame. So if we're to look at Ethereum, all right, back in 2017, December, 
uh, January 2018. I mean, this is what we got right here, guys. So we are at this point on chart in Ethereum, if we're to do a historic analog, where we are right here. We are right here, guys. And we got some room to go lower. The question is, by how much lower? Well, it's easy. It's about 25% move. It's about 25 to 30% move. So considering where we are trading on Ethereum right now, considering where we're trading on Ethereum right now, you see the behavioral pattern is the same. This candle now, this red candle is developing based off another different base level right here, off of 22.50. So we're here now. We can go sideways, slightly sideways, but overall we're down lower. And ultimately we're gonna hit that level of 1500. We can stall a little bit, at this prior level of 1750 but we're going to 1500 and the second level clearly could be 1300 so you've got 1280 1300 on ethereum uh with the first stop at 1500 okay these are your exits if you're a short seller but these are also your entries uh as a bull on ethereum so you'd want to ideally wait till this uh 1280 1300 level in the next seven days guys this is only about a 25-30% drop from current levels. I mean, we're right around 1,900, 2,000 points on Ethereum right now. Uh, there's still about 25-30% drop in the making, which makes sense because if you really look at this pattern, guys, what is this? I mean, it's a head and shoulder pattern, damn it. That's about to break down based on the behavioral patterns and the historic analogs. We can still hit 1,280 bucks on Ethereum when in the next seven days. So I hope you found this information useful. Historic analogs really work extremely well in certain market conditions that they're not always 100% precise. But if you are trying again to increase your Bitcoin or Ethereum holdings through utilizing some simple trading strategies, I've got some insanely great news for you guys. And this is what I mean for the very first time guys, we have put together a crypto course. Yes, 13 market moves uh, crypto course. It's called Crypto Star Course. So if you go to uh, 13mmtv.com. By the way, feel free to schedule a 20-minute coaching call uh, before you do anything. But for the very first time, if you click right here on the Crypto Star. You have the options to trade with a coach and Crypto Star Course. When you click on the Crypto Star Course, guys, I'll be honest with you, I've laid out the entire map here for you. I, I don't believe, honestly, there is a better course in the universe when it comes uh, from the precision of explaining your entries and exits and multiple circumstances on when you should be avoiding an entry or an exit. Um, there is a ton of examples. I go through the entire straight trade structure uh, the way I see it. So everything you absolutely need uh, from the standpoint of understanding your time frame, your entries, your exits, why you're doing certain things based on what's evolving on the chart. Everything is in this course right here. And right now we've got an introductory rate on it. It's not going to be there. You know, we don't discount any of our courses with a rare, rare occasion. Like right now we've got a special where you get 20% uh, off if you pay with BTC for the next 24 hours. That's it. Uh, there's no other place where you can buy a real 13 market moves course uh, only right here and at 13marketmoves.com. So guys, make sure if you are serious about trading, if you're serious about increasing your Bitcoin account, your Ethereum holdings, guys, take action right now, Crypto Star Course, and take your trading skills to the moon. Take action right now, acquire the best crypto trading course out there specifically designed to take your trading skills to the moon guys so be the star click the link take advantage of this insane information the blueprint that i use myself for trading stocks and options and bitcoin it is here in the crypto star course for you all the secrets i've never shown you before guys it's in this course right here so do it now and be ready to take your account to the moon tomorrow. Let's roll. I'll catch you guys in the next trade soon.